What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. I want to say thank you to the love on one of my last uploads, which was the key to creating realistic content. And you know, if you don't have a luxury lifestyle, what can you do? What advice can I give? Just coming from me to you. So I just want to say thank you for the support on that video. Um, today's video will basically be touching bases on just um why i feel like the relatable content is overlooked but before we get into all of that make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed welcome to all of my new subscribers i'm so happy to have you here um you can be sure to expect uploads every week so definitely stay tuned definitely keep your eyes out for my videos i'm dropping vlogs and i'm also going to be doing a lot of advice videos as well so leave some suggestions down below so let's follow out loud and let's see on all social media platforms that will also be in the description box below um you guys can look at my link tree as well um and go to outlawllc.org to make sure you get your journals your pens your stickers and also the mental health covering book if you guys do not know what out loud is it is my media platform centered around mental health and well-being in the black community so make sure you guys go and copy some journals in the mental health coloring book i have some notes here that i'm gonna go based upon as i talk about this topic after hearing feedback from my last video i was like i really want to kind of touch on why i feel like the relatable content isn't as you know popular as like the luxury lifestyle content and first and foremost before i get into anything i definitely want you guys to understand that relatability looks different for everyone like it is some people who do have a true luxury lifestyle so that's relatable they can relate to you know going to the designer stores dropping bags and um you know money on designer items they can relate to that um a lot of people can relate to taking trips um every month you know what i'm saying that's just that aesthetic but one of the main reasons why i think that relatable content is overlooked is the access to different lifestyles because social media is super super popular you have a lot of people that is looking at a lot of people now like you know before social media i say before the pandemic really because you know people were still kind of just using social media to just connect with your peers and you know of course maybe talk to other people and see other people from everywhere else but it wasn't how it was today and i think you know just social media just in general pandemic or not social media just in general today we have access to see like a lot of the celebrities think about like in the early 2000s you couldn't see what your favorite celebrity was doing unless they you know showed us on tv you know we didn't know what the insides of their cribs looked like unless we saw them on mtv cribs you get what i'm saying so the fact that we have access to seeing a lot of more lifestyles way more often now just due to having social media it kind of causes people to become obsessed with it like i think a lot of average people come become obsessed with the luxury lifestyle and the reason why i say that is because again like i said in my last video everyone strives to have a luxury lifestyle it's nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong for wanting to um better your lifestyle and you know you want the designer clothes you want to take the trips you want financial freedom it's nothing wrong with that but i do think a lot of people become so obsessed with it and they feel like this is all it is to life is just obtaining this and i think that's where we lose the plot at a little bit but that's a whole different topic for a whole different day that we will get into on a whole different video but just overall i think just opening up our apps and just seeing like okay this is possible for a black person and and that's motivation i'm gonna talk about that in another point on this video but use what you see on social media and that access to different luxury lifestyle is motivation do not use it as okay this is the end all be all because essentially what you're doing is you're not giving the people who are you know just like you or who may have just a regular lifestyle you know you're not giving them a chance it's to the point to where now everyone you know wants to see only the luxury aesthetics because you know everyone strives to tr strives to be there and that's okay but don't lose sight of okay it's still regular people it's still regular lifestyles 
you know and and people with luxury lifestyles have regular but y'all get what i'm saying just for the context of the video y'all get what i'm saying a lot of people don't support you until you make it and i've always talked about this like you know people that know you people from your hometown they're not going to support you until other people from all over start supporting you or start co-signing what you got going on and i feel like that's just a topic in general for the black community it's like okay we see you know people in our neighborhood struggling trying to make it out grinding but instead of us uplifting them and you know saying hey i see what you're doing keep going keep we, we might you know in, do encouraging words here and there but we ain't really stunned what they got going on for real we want to see the people that already made it and we type in their paragraphs yeah you know i remember your come on when you first started and now you this and now you that i feel like that also has a lot to do with it people do not support people until they make it i feel like you know people don't want to support your struggles until you've made it out the struggle and that's the problem i feel like for me personally i feel like you got to respect me now like if you can't respect me at my worst then you definitely do not deserve to see or be around me at my best if you turning your nose up and you can't even you know respect what i got going on right now i feel like that's also why relatable content is overlooked because it's like oh you ain't nothing until you really didn't popped off until you made it and that's not true that's not true you know some of the most talented people some of the most gifted people some of the most notable people are people who actually stick it out and grind the most you know what i'm saying like these are the people that you need to be watching and i said that in my last video follow people that you know can give you a message follow people that that you can uh, find relatable because that's going to help you along your journey not even just with content creation but just in life in general these two topics kind of go hand in hand the algorithm is accustomed to pushing out a certain types of videos that are more marketable and brands push for a certain aesthetic that caters to the algorithm so it's kind of like you know we've seen a lot of people getting brand deals and you know brands are paying now but also they have to cater to the algorithm so the brands are pushing for a certain aesthetic that can cater to the algorithm so basically let's say a content a content creator gets paid to do a brand video right this person will do a brand video but of course they they're going to do they're going to do top notch content try to make sure they get all the aesthetics all the angles all the lighting right right because they're getting paid for this so what happens is you got so many people who are accepting brand deals and things like that so the algorithm gets accustomed to that therefore being when the algorithm gets accustomed to all of this luxury um aesthetics and all of this um the brands are starting to see that work out more in their favor so I, that's why i say it kind of goes hand in hand the brands and the algorithm kind of feed off of each other and i think that has definitely 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 played a huge role in you know relatable relatable content being overlooked because you have to think about what brands nowadays deem as marketable right um you know you have people like me that'll probably you know if a brand certain brands look at my page they're gonna be like oh she's not that marketable for us you know what i'm saying like she don't have you know this 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 you know from the from the naked eye once you look on my social media it looks like it's all over the place but honestly i'm just being myself you know and the algorithm does not cater to people who are just being themselves which is also why it's taking me a little longer because i'm not out here just trying to do things just to get viral just to get a little money grab no i genuinely love what i do therefore i'm going to continue to walk into my purpose and, and do what i love to do just by doing what i love to do i don't have to you know go go the extra route so that's the reason why and not saying brands don't find me as marketable because the right brand will find you marketable for their brand but just like i said it goes hand in hand with the brands and the algorithm because the algorithm does push this um certain aesthetic you know um and and that's just what it is so that's also another reason as to why relatable content is overlooked because once you're constantly seeing like aesthetic 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 and you curate your timeline to only aesthetics and that's all you want to see that's all the algorithm is going to push out and everyone's level of relatability is different and like i said i touched on it you know some people and i said this in the last video too like some people have um lifestyles that are just truly relatable to them like it could be the luxury it could be regular people it could be 
college students it could be people that's on the come up on their grind like whatever relatability is to you make sure you are following people that you can really see yourself in in the economy that we're in right now there are two different types of people you have the people that want to scroll on social media and live vicariously through others then you have the people who see what other people are doing and they're like okay i'm going to use this as inspiration i'm going to use this as, as motivation and i'm going to apply what they're doing and apply it to my life so i can you know reach that certain level but still staying true to myself right that's what i said earlier in this video when you are looking at, you know, the luxury lifestyle, you want to use that as inspiration and motivation. You do not want to copy and paste that and overlook your whole um, your whole meaning for your actual content. So, for instance, I'm going to use me as an example. So I could go, OK, only post aesthetics, only do luxury um content because i know that that's what's going to pop off but that's going to take away from god's message that he wants me to convey god wants me to be the one to show like okay you don't need all of this to make it on social media you can't just be an average regular person doing what you got to do to make it and following your dreams you don't need all of that so if i go and try to get a luxury lifestyle and try to make that the forefront of everything i'm taking away is god purpose for my life and that's something i that's one of the main reasons i never really said this on social media so if you're watching this you got a little intel <laughs> but that is one of the main reasons why you know i stay true to myself when it comes to my content because i understand the message that god is trying to convey in my life i understand what he wants to you know i understand how he wants to use me as a vessel so i can't you know let certain things overlook my relatable content if you get what i'm saying so i can't let the luxury aesthetic overlook the message that god is trying to push through me if that's for you then that's for you um and that's for me but if you might you might have and, and just like i said some people have a luxury lifestyle to where they're supposed to show you know the luxury the riches you know to motivate and inspire others again that's for some people but for some people it's the total opposite you got some people that hey you need to get on this social media and show you coming up because guess what it's a little girl or a little boy that's going to look at me one day and be like dang if she could do what i can do it. if she sat there and stayed true to herself you know she didn't care about the aesthetic she didn't care what she was driving she didn't care what she was living she just turned on that camera and she just did what she wanted to do and what she loved to do this is who i aspire to be you know what i'm saying and that like i said this is just me i'm not saying this not saying this for anybody else this is just what I know God has for me and that's the reason why I have to stay true to just my authentic self because I do not want to get in the way of what God is doing in my life. A lot of people want to escape their reality so they do that by living vicariously through others scrolling on social media all day um oh well this person got this or this person is doing that so you know i'm just gonna live through them because i don't see it possible for me now some people don't have the you know um dreams and aspirations to follow their dreams with content creating but these kind of videos i'm kind of gearing towards content creators that just need that extra push on relatable content so if you're not a content creator and you just need this you know just to motivate you then you know take it as that but if you're trying to be a content creator but you don't have the luxury lifestyle that is what these videos are for and um with luxury lifestyle being so heavily promoted it's easy for people um it's easy for people to do that that's why you see the aesthetic more than anything you know it's easy for people to go out and take a video of some shopping bags it's easy for people to you know take a trip if you you know obviously if you got the money take a trip and record the trip it's so much more harder to get on this camera when you have hit rock bottom and to still stand on your 10 toes and still love what you're doing it's so much harder to do that because if it was easy to be quote unquote relatable everyone would do it everyone would be their, their true authentic selves it's not easy being your true authentic self is it it's not and i can say that because i sometimes struggle with it a lot but sometimes you know i have to get in my moments where i'm like okay jay you gotta you gotta push through this you can't just you know sit here yeah you might not got this you might don't have this but 
you gotta do what you gotta do like i always tell y'all i might can't give you the luxury aesthetic content right now don't mean i'm never gonna give it oh yeah you're gonna see me you know it's gonna be signs i might not ever brag or boast and put the materials out there but there will be signs that you know your girl is yeah <laughs> you feel me living living in luxury it's gonna be signs but I might can't give you that right now, but what I can give you is inspiration. What I can give you is motivation. I can't give you the luxury aesthetic right now, but what I can give you is this advice that's going to help you on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. This is what you can do to create relatable content. Now, again, make sure you guys check out my last video, the key to creating realistic content without a luxury lifestyle. Make sure you guys check out the video. I gave a lot of good advice and a lot of good tips in that video. So make sure y'all look at that for further reference. But the main thing I can really say is just to show up. You guys, I was such in a funk today because again, like I said, I have just a lot going on in my personal life. And so I, I was just in the funk. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just put a little makeup on, cut on my camera and just, you know, talk to you guys about how important it is to just show up as your authentic self and create the content that you want to create. If you're doing this for the money and to go viral, then do it just for that. But don't expect longevity. Don't expect um, to really be fulfilled if you are doing it. But if, if, if you are doing this because you truly see it fit, you see longevity in it for yourself, you know your purpose with it, you have to get up and you have to show up. It is so important. And, and again, like I said, relatability is different for everyone. It's different for everyone. But if you have, you know, if you could just cut on the camera and just be yourself and just, you know, talk and cultivate an audience, I feel like that speaks volumes. It speaks volumes that I can sit here and just be myself, cut on the camera and just, you know, cultivate an audience that really truly loves me without having all the extras aesthetics, right? I have a plain white white background right now, but that doesn't take away from my message. And that is something that I literally had to learn in my content creation journey. Do not get caught up in things not being perfect because you're going to take away the message. I've been in my word a lot, lot more. I've been praying a lot more and asking God for guidance. And he revealed to me that this is what I was supposed to be doing all along, showing you guys how you really can take something take nothing and make it into something and stay prayed up and understand what you're doing it for like don't think that just because you don't have this or you don't have that that somebody don't want to watch you but i've been doing this for so long and i have built a solid community of people that just want to see me they don't care about what car i'm hopping in they don't care about you know where i'm staying like none of that like really really matters when you have a true message that you are destined to convey like none of that really really matters so i say all of this to say be yourself you know um it is it is definitely stressful being someone who you know has the quote-unquote relatable average content sometimes it's stressful because it's like and not stressful in the sense of like oh i don't want to do this because i don't mind you know posting whatever i post i don't care about that it's just stressful that you know the algorithm isn't going to pick it up as quickly as something else and so it it's like my message ain't really getting out to where it needs to get to. But in due time, my target audience will be reached. And I feel like I'm reaching my target audience. Even with my last video, I received so much love on that. That was one of, like, I haven't had a video um, hit, like, a thousand views in less than five days in a while. Like, y'all, it's been a while. <laughs> so, to see that, you know, people was like, I needed to hear this. I needed this. You know, I was skipping days doing content because I feel like this isn't, you know, for me right now. You know, I don't have this, you know, to see for them to see somebody like myself just getting up and just doing what I got to do to make it happen because I have no choice. I feel like that is just so much more inspirational than actually showing, you know, the end goal. And I feel like that's the thing on social media in general. A lot of people want to show their end goal. They want to show, okay, yeah, I done made it. So now I'm finna show it off. And this is what I did. So now they're gonna try to sell you a course. No, 
No, we don't. We need more people who are grinding and coming up to document their journey so other people can really see how this shit is because this shit ain't easy, y'all. To the point where I don't have a choice but to get here and God will strip you from everything till you be obedient. And I wasn't being obedient because this is bigger than just uh, relatable content versus luxury content. Mind y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about that, but I'm also giving you guys a deeper message. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. For me, it's bigger than that. Maybe for you, it's probably like, yeah, maybe I need to sit and wait till I get my own place. Yeah, I need to sit and wait till I'm driving my bins, and then I'm going to post. And then maybe that's what you got to do. But for me, no, it's bigger than that. And what I had to learn is I had to take myself out the equation. And I know I'm kind of going off topic and just, but listen to me, listen to me. Stay with me. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching. I'm preaching. Um, this wasn't even in the plan, but God just, God is so intentional. He just moves through me and, you know, I just have to be that vessel right now. I, it's, this is so much bigger than me. I had to take me out of the equation because if I'm sitting here, who, if I'm sitting here worried about, oh, well, I don't want to post this cause I ain't got this or I don't got that. If I'm sitting up here doing that, I am depriving People who need to hear my story. People who need to see somebody getting up, getting to it without nothing so they can feel inspired. I'm depriving them for the for that hope. And that's not what I want to do because, again, I'm standing in the way of God's purpose in my life. And I, it took me to really, y'all know I told y'all I fasted. It took me to fast to really understand what he was really doing with my content. My content was never just to be, oh, cute, girly, um, target runs, oh, um, trips every month. And, and don't get me wrong, we're gonna we gonna get to the we're gonna get to the luxury style, but my content has always been to show that you can take nothing and make it into something. You can take the little that you got and make it to this big thing, and Lord knows I know that I'm gonna get there. It's just in due time. And you also have to trust the process and enjoy the journey. This is the last thing I'm going to say. Trust the process and enjoy the journey. If you, like I said in the last video, if you are too afraid to thug it out and just show up however you show up, you're not going to get far with this content creation. You're not. And I had to look myself in the mirror and tell myself that, girl, if you can't do this right now, what makes you think God is going to give you this? It's just like the story of Job. I'm reading the book of Job right now in the Bible. Job lost everything and in the midst of him losing everything he's complaining to God well I don't have this and I don't have that God had to let him walk in humility okay that's been my word this year humility he had to walk in humility this food I would never touch when I had those riches but now I don't have a choice but to eat this food because I am at such a low place. This is all God has given me. So this is what I have to work with. But he just kept complaining, kept complaining, kept complaining. He had His friends was telling him to seek God. This wasn't even meant to be, you know, uh, turn into um, a, a sermon, <laughs> a little mini sermon. But I'm being honest. Do not stay. If you are someone that you really want to do content creation, you feel that God has called you to do it but you don't have the luxury aesthetic from me to you just show up your target audience will find you i've been having people unfollow me because i'm no longer subscribing to the aesthetic i don't want that you know i don't that's not me i've always done this content creation stuff and i'm not about to subscribe to something that was never for me or meant for me in the beginning show up and be yourself and enjoy the journey and trust the process just enjoy it like i said once you're there you're there once you get to the end goal you're at the end goal but be a light to someone else be a light to someone else who may just need that inspiration you never know somebody could be looking at you right now and like hmm i like what she got going on she she's doing what she's doing i like this I'm going to subscribe to her and I'm going to stay tuned because I like this. I want to see someone operate in their realness, in their true authentic authenticity, in their true authenticity. I'm sorry. So, yeah, just just enjoy the journey. 
and yeah, re overall relatable content is overlooked because a lot of people just don't care for it. A lot of people want to see the luxury aesthetics because that's just what we've been seeing ever since, you know, social media has gotten more and more popular. You know, we got more access to celebrity lives. So now everybody feels like that is the standard. And again, we're losing the plot, but we will talk about that in the next video. So make sure you guys, again, like this video, subscribe. Write in the comments below what other videos you guys want me to talk about or what other videos you guys want to see. Also, like I said, make sure you guys follow Out Loud LLC on all platforms. Head to outloudllc.org and get you the mental health coloring book, some journals, pens, and stickers, you guys. Please, please, please help us sister out, you guys. I just started, you know, adding these products to my business. Um, I got a lot of products in stock. I'm in need of more orders. So please, please, please help your girl out. And with that being said, I will see y'all in the next one. Stay blessed. Enjoy your journeys. Bye.